So YouTube, it's your boy Re. We back, man, with uh 25 luckiest people caught on camera. Before we start, uh, I want to say shout out to No Life Shack because he did a video that I watched, like half his video. So the video I wanted to react to, I didn't react to. Look, I'm gonna show you real quick. It's two. You see the first one, I was gonna react to that one, but that's the video he reacted to. So I'm gonna do this other one. I haven't seen this one, so I'm gonna react to this one. You know what I'm saying? Right now. You wanna see what this is breaking with, man? Luck. I don't believe in luck, but I know what they mean by like luck in this type of video, you know what I'm saying? Before we start, one thing I want to say to y'all. Um, stop worrying about things y'all can't control, bro. It's a lot of stuff going on that we can't control as people. And we still worry about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, focus on what you can control, bro. What you can handle. Let everything else play out. You know what I'm saying? God gonna make sure everything right around you. Just focus on what you're trying to do. And like, focus on your purpose in life. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I'm still trying to find my purpose. I feel like YouTube could be it, bro. I like talking. I like helping people out. Trying to find ways to talk to people. Encourage people to keep on what they trying to do, bro. Because even me, bro, I need encouragement, bro. But... I still got enough encouragement to give out to other people, bro. You know what I'm saying? God done stuff for me in life that I, I'm thankful for. So I know I got to not even pay him back. I just got to, yeah, I'm going to say I got to pay him back because he doing stuff for me now I got to do for other people. You know what I'm saying? You give and you receive. When you when you giving a lot, you're going to receive a lot. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you put out, you're going to get back. But without further ado, let's get started with this video, man. This oh yeah. People caught on camera. I don't know why. Before we continue, don't forget to Russ. hit that like button. Also, subscribe that to our goat. channel That's and turn boy. on notifications, and you'll get ten years of good luck. Try it. It works. All right, let's begin. This guy's failed trick oh, yeah. shot. Shout out to Russ because my man made the top seventy-five of all time. Well deserved. People were saying he didn't deserve that. Come on, man. Y'all know that boy averaged triple double for like three straight years. Type shit. But that boy Russ definitely deserved it, man. And I think Russ top. Five point guard all the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I ain't gonna say he the first, the second, the third, but he top five. He in there somewhere. For sure. Turned into a lucky shot in an unexpected way. I seen this one though. I definitely remember seeing that. Two guys Did managed I see this? to pull off this perfectly timed spare with a bit of luck. Oh never, I ain't see this. Ain't no way. It's gonna get there too. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually that actually that's damn. Can I talk? That actually takes skill and it's crazy, bro. He threw the ball the first time. Bull spin the ball up. I swear to God, when I'm not recording, I could talk perfect. When I record, I don't know what it is. I got the heebie-jeebies or song. You feel me? But what I was trying to say is. He had to spin the ball at like so slow that the ball came down while the pins was coming back. You know what I'm saying? So that was just perfectly timed type shit. I feel like that was skill. That was a skill. A lady's quick thinking managed to save her from a possible car napping at a gas station. I think I see. Did I see this video? She gonna hop inside the car though. He straight ran. He ho. It required extreme luck to get this can of juice from the vending machine and as it managed this. to avoid two near falls. Mm. What Man. could have been a tragic crash was luckily avoided by the narrow margins. I would need my money back. Margins. Hold up. Even if I didn't get that juice, I need my bread bag. What fuck y'all talking about? My juice did not come out that vending machine. Go get the person. Go get somebody. Knock that shit down. Stop playing. It's like, no. Oh, shit. What the hell? How he even jumped in the side of the road? Felipe Mexis scored this incredible direct volley from a corner when everyone thought the delivery was bad. Damn. Yeah, that's a dot. That's a dot right there. Damn. He pulled off an amazing double backflip and managed to get away without hurting himself. 
Yeah, that was decent. I ain't going well. I ain't even no hitter. That was nice. A Lakers fan scored this half court shot to earn himself a hundred thousand. How does luck though, bro? That's not luck. Look, he 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 knew what he was doing. That, look, at, look at the release. That's not luck though. I don't I don't believe that's luck to me. Me personally, that's not luck. That's love. He got a hundred K for that. Love, not luck. This guy's perseverance is just as commendable as his luck when he hits the jackpot at the vending machine. I'm either gonna get three or I'm gonna get none. <laughs> You've gotta be fucking kidding me. No. People have asked why don't I push it? Because it's bolted into the earth. <gasps> Damn. This is absolutely maddening because this one is stuck in a, in a ring. All right, everybody. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Here we go. C3. Go. Drop. <gasps> Man, that's love. But I'm thinking he spent bread every time he had to do that. So you basically pay for all them chips. You know what I'm saying? So it's even exchange type shit. He had to keep paying to keep getting the stuff to come down. I feel like he had to pay two or three times at least. So that's like, what, one fifty a piece, three, four fifty for that? Mm, I don't know. Or three dollars. I don't know how much that the chips was, but around my way, they didn't doing like one fifty, bro. Like in the vending machines. He too hype. He too hype for chips. But chips Luck was on this more. couple's side as they managed to pull off this backflip from the roof well inches away from going. I'm not liking this video so far, bro. This is not luck. How is that lucky? They really planned that out, bro, and that's a good flip. That's skill. Don't take away from people, bro. That's skill. That's not luck to me, bro. The other video was a good video. I seen. I might go to that video and watch the other half of that, John, bro, instead of this. I'm not liking it so far, bro. The hospital. The mechanic showed quick reflexes to avoid crashing into the oncoming car. That's all right. I can say that's luck. That's nice right there. That's decent. Now, that's some skill. He jumped perfect. I ain't going to lie. He knew what he was doing. A young fan finally managed to get her puck from her team's player after having two of the pucks meant for her get stolen away. Mm. Look at her. The Washington Capitals player tries again, but Dad gives it to his other son. They had a fight. Finally, look at her though. That old right there. Oh my, my Look, that make anybody smile, bro. Seeing kids happy. Could have turned out to be something disastrous, but luckily, luck was on this guy's side. He about to fuck his shit up. That was too close. That you can say that's lucky, bro. A stunt that started with a wheelie turned into something even more amazing when the rider accidentally lets go of the handle. He didn't accidentally do shit. Oh shit! He did. Oh, hop down. Yeah, he hopped that shit. <laughs> a parkour runner luckily escaped the cops when he jumped off the roof of a building to a stairway this crazy. across it. Yo, I always wanted to do some shit like that, bro. Because I'm I'm like that type. I could climb all type of shit, bro. But I ain't no parkour type nigga. But like, the cops chasing me, bro. I get on top of a house, jump off another house type shit. I always wanted to do some shit like that, bro. <laughs> Them cops slow as hell. Damn. Hey, yeah, man. I know they mean. A kid got extremely lucky when a group encountered a wild bear while hiking in the woods. That's not lucky. Yeah, but a hard ass. He tripping. Oh, fuck. He tripping. I s All you would have seen is this. Get back. He fried. Unless I got... They must have that thing on them. Because if y'all don't got that thing, what you walking slow as shit for, bro? You better hop. Uh, bear not catching me, bro. Oh, God. I don't give a fuck how fast the bear is, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm climbing some shit. Bear's not climbing no trees, bro. I'm doing something. Hell no. A surfer who had fallen off his board was rescued by someone on a jet ski moments before a huge wave hit him. That's love. They could have saved his life. It probably did save his life. Damn. Definitely, or he was going to get drenched in that water for sure. A biker got slammed by a car from behind and his GoPro camera spun off his head, landing in a perfect angle to capture the whole incident. What? That's crazy. Wow. He got a proof of everything. A skydiving instructor managed to save a 22-year-old skydiver who had a seizure while 12,000 This is why I never skydive in my life. <laughs> never. People do this. No. People pay to do this, bro. They pay. You couldn't pay me to do that. You know what I'm saying? Never. Eat in the air. That's crazy, bro. I probably would have some seizure. Fuck up. I probably fall asleep. Type shit, scared. Oh my god. <laughs> he had to get, bro. How? I really want to know can you control yourself in the air? Like, how did he get to him? Y'all both in the air, different spaces. What you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you did to get to him, bro, to save him. But commends to you, bro. Kudo. You, you, you get a salute for that, bro. Because he, he could have died. He had a seizure. You know what I'm saying? Niggas. Have a seizure, start bitching. They wake up. I'm in the air. Oh my god! Start panicking. They going check. You know what I'm saying? He saved them, bro. That's respect. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, put that parachute. Never skydive again, my guy. The Never. people in the front row seat most probably saw their lives flash before their eyes. Right, I know I'm pausing a lot, but my mom took me to one of these joints, bro. It was a lot of monster trucks, like big ass monster trucks. This is the time where McDonald's, bro, they were selling. Like, you buy a Happy Meal, you get a little monster truck, and you could do like this with it, and you let it go, and it start going. But they had a real-life derby. I mean, I said derby. A real-life John, bro. It was at, I think, Temple, like the college. They had it in that stadium. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was just different. It just reminded me of that. I don't know why, but that just reminded me of that, though. When this happened. I just started right Yo, get the fuck out the way! Nigga is tripping. This tourist safety cord snapped off while he was hopping his way through a high altitude bridge. Fortunately, he was at the end of the bridge when it snapped off. Alright, that's why I don't trust. N I keep. I don't trust nothing, bro. I would never do that. That's you. You letting that? What's the word? You pin your life. You pin. You pin. Oh my god. You trusting that with your life, bro? I can never trust a cord. Something like with my life, bro. I can't. If anything can happen, bro, I never trust nothing like that. That's crazy. He just looking this like. This is the reason why tourists should stay inside their car. Good thing this lion just gave them a harmless growl. Yo, only white people would do this, bro. It's a lion right there. He could go. Niggas got their windows down recording. That lion could come up to that nigga right there, bite his whole face off, bro. He just out the window recording, bro. At least record with the windows up. Nigga outside the window recording, bro. What if that lion went, went feeling some fresh blood today? What if he wanted to eat somebody? They don't, they don't understand. Look. Look. See? He could have... It's two of them. They could have been on go mode. They could have got a whole car if they this wanted to. This golfer used up all his luck to pull off this shot as the ball bounced off the water as if it had hit the ground. That's tough. That's tough. That's the way to play it. That's crazy. These two guys managed to pull off this anxiety-inducing parachute stunt Never. routine. Never. He. Yeah, I saw it. Yo, I swear I thought this man just fell with no parachute, bro. I'm like, is he about to fall in the pool or something? Like, what's about to happen? 
I'm glad he had a parachute. That nigga could have checked if he ain't had one. Damn. That's crazy. But I just don't like the title. Why is it saying luckiest? That's not luck. Like they plant that, bro. I don't understand the title of this video. Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying, or I'm just tripping? Like, let me know if I'm just tripping. My fault. I know I've been pausing a lot. We are gonna finish this with no more pauses. Only a minute left, but fuck it. <laughs> a boat comes speeding toward the harbor with no signs of slowing down. This rider saved himself How when his bike looking? slipped on the wet asphalt as he was making a turn during a race. That's skill. Nigga knew how to control his body, bro. Not luck. I don't... That's not luck. This should make me mad. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed... No, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't usually do this, bro. I'm gonna take my thumbs up away. I ain't gonna dislike the video because... Y'all doing what y'all doing, y'all making y'all bread and shit, but no, I, I ain't like the video, bro. I felt like that was not luck, you know what I'm saying? The title misleading to me. That shit was mostly still in there, bro. And y'all messing with me, show me some love. I appreciate y'all, real rap. Um, Keep up, bro. I gotta keep saying it because um, people gotta keep hearing stuff, you know what I'm saying? And keep hearing it over and over. So keep doing what y'all doing. Keep staying on y'all missions, y'all goals, bro. Keep fighting. Don't let nobody tell y'all what y'all can and can't do, bro. You know what I'm saying? People tell me I can't do a lot. Do I let it affect me, bro? No. Did I used to? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Now, I move, and then I don't let people know I got a YouTube channel, for real. You find my YouTube channel, bro, and you know me, congratulations, because I don't post it on my gram. I don't tell people. I just do me. You know what I'm saying? But that might change soon, depending on how, how this going. But I'll see y'all in the next vid. And we out this young man. Fuck. Gang. Yeah.